Johnny Bull Award uh, is, is, an, is an award that's presented annually to the individual who has displayed exemplary talent on the golf course during their career. The award is named after the legendary player who called Phoenix home and dominated uh, golf over two decades. Our recipient of the 2018 Johnny Bull Award is Mr. Bob Bleen. Bob Bleen was 17 when he first made a splash into the Arizona golf scene, advancing to the Junior World Championship at Torrey Pines after scoring a 171 at Randolph North in 1979. He was a consistent contender from that day forward, beginning with his junior days at Maryvale High School, on to college, into a fine professional career, including a dramatic victory in the 1999 Southwest PJ Match Play Championship. Born in Pella, Iowa, and raised in Phoenix, Robert Bleen III did all that and more across 23 years as a PJ golf professional. Bleen's first professional posting after a college career at Glendale Community College in Grand Canyon College, where he was a member of the NAIA championship qualifying team, was as an assistant at Bel Air Golf Course beginning in 1990, but he was hardly stationary. Bleen was a frequent tournament competitor locally and nationally, piling up a half dozen top seven placings in the Southwest PGA Championship across 15 years. His best finish was sharing a runner-up honors stroke behind Dean Vermaka of Oro Valley Country Club in 2008. Bob qualified for the Nike Tour in 1997 and also played in both the Phoenix and Tucson Opens that year, as well as other appearances in both the state's PGA Tour stops later in his career. It was while representing Bel Air that Bleen captured the Southwest PGA Match Play Championship, cap capping his feet with a three and two victory over Larry Mackin at Troon Country Club. Something else happened in 2007 when he won the Sections Assistance Championship and in 2008, Bob Byrne uh, teamed with fellow Southwest PGA professional Chris Enders to capture the Stronghold Cup. Bleen was a huge supporter of, of junior golf throughout the state. The, the, the BB2 Junior Golf Fund at Sun City Country Club was, st was started in his honor and benefits lifelong assistant who could usually be found on the lesson tee. Bob was a tough individual. In 1995, he spent three weeks giving lessons and playing with what doctors discovered was a ruptured appendix via CAT scan on Father's Day weekend. He was back at, on the leaderboard by August of that year, and in that fall, once again, contributed to the Southwest Section's winning Goldwater Cup team. Sadly, we lost Bob. He passed away at the age of 55 in December of 2017. At this time, I would like to bring up a couple of individuals to help me present the Johnny Bull Award, uh, starting with the executive director from the Arizona Golf Association, Mr. Ed Gowan. And I'd also like to invite up the president of the Southwest Section PGA, Jamie Lewis. My purpose is to share a little bit with you about Johnny Bull. As some of you here have probably played with him or known him, uh, but he was an exceptional golfer, especially on tour beginning in the mid-30s. He was a contemporary and a traveling partner with Sam Snead, had a personal relationship with both Bobby Jones and Ben Hogan. Their regular conversations were often devoted to the search for the perfect golf swing, aren't we all? Bull's analysis was that each person has their own perfect swing to discover, but they have to discover it on their own with help. After a hectic tour life, he moved to Phoenix in 39 for a career as a club professional, amateur agronomist, inventor, and commercial pilot. His touring career included winning the LA Open in 1939, three runner-ups and majors, the Masters and two British Opens. His driver from the 1939 Open at St. Andrews, in which he lost by a stroke to Dick Burton, is in the RNA's British Golf Museum in honor of his hitting every single fairway over 72 holes. He was able to play equally well right-handed and left-handed. He held multiple course records, and you might imagine, but one supposedly at Papago, a 62 right-handed, which he tied left-handed, may be the most impressive. He also had two firsts for a golf professional. He was the first player ever to fly event to event as a private pilot which he turned into a real job during World War II for Eastern Airlines as a uh, commercial pilot. And he was the first golf professional to endorse a commercial product that gave him quite a bit of grief with the PGA of America at the time. It was later resolved, and that was the Poto golf ball for Walgreens. 
In summing his career, after expressing frustration that he couldn't win more often, which is one of the reasons he moved to Phoenix, no matter how much he practiced, he said, the bottom line is, excel if you can, but if you've helped someone else along the way, you've accomplished your life's purpose. Bob Blaine certainly did that. Thank you. Bob Lean was a very special person, and I had the privilege of working with Bob for the last two years before he passed. And you know, this this award uh, recognizes the players in our section. And he shot a 60. Our, our course is 51 years old, and he lipped out at 59 within about seven months of when he found out he was sick. So he was a true player and a true gentleman, and it was an honor to be with him. With that said, I'd like to welcome up Chris Enders. He's a, a longtime playing partner of Bob Lean. Chris, if you would like to bring up Bob's family, I'd like to present this award. I'd like to say thank you to uh, Jamie and to Ed, uh, Michael Miller, um, the Southwest Section, and the Arizona Golf Association. Uh, I would also like to uh, say thanks to Bob's loved ones. Uh, the one who's with us tonight is his wife, Dana. There she is in the back. And. On my left is uh, his middle daughter, Amanda, and his youngest daughter, McKenna. Um, not with us tonight is his oldest daughter, Chandler, who's a uh, teacher in Flagstaff and was not able to be here, uh, nor was uh, the girl's mother, Debbie. Um, so I did a little research about the Johnny Bull Award the other day, and most everything I read said the same thing. It said the award is presented to an individual who has dis displayed exemplary talent on the golf course during his playing career. From that description, the word that jumped out at me was talent. In my opinion, Bob was one of the most talented players to ever play in the Southwest section. If you look in the record book, you will see his name scattered about in several places. However, as those of you who were lucky enough to play with Bob in his prime know, what we will really remember about him was the pureness of his game. I was blessed to be his partner in many Southwest Section team events over the years, and in that time I saw him, far too many times to count, hit shots that made my jaw drop. You may wonder if Bob was such a magnificent ball striker, and he was, why didn't he win more events? His short game must have been lacking, you would logically think. Rest assured that was not the case. He was as good with the wedges and the putter as anyone I'd ever seen. I honestly think the reason Bob did not win more was that he was just too humble. I don't think he was ever comfortable standing out in a crowd. He was never one to say, hey, look at me, look what I did. I think he actually did something that myself and those close to him never did. I think he doubted his own talent. In conclusion, I couldn't be more proud to accept this award on Bob's behalf, and I'll forever think of it as validation of the talent that was my good friend, Robert Arthur Blaine III. Thank you. <laughs>